7, News Radio 101 FM KXL. Welcome back to the Lawyers Larson Show, 22 minutes after the hour, and always a pleasure to welcome back our good friend from TriMet, Miss Mary Fetch. Uh, Mary, how are you? I'm good, and you? Well, fine. I may ask you some questions that will make you feel uncomfortable, though. Is that all right? Well, Lars, uh, you can ask whatever you like. <laughs> I don't want to end up like Herman Cain or anything. Uh, listen, let me ask well, you this. over the phone, so... Uh, okay, okay. Well, but, you know, well, Bill Clinton was over the phone a lot, too. Uh, listen, I, I want to ask you, you had... How much of those Max Trains cost round numbers? Oh, I want to say three to four million okay. kind of range when you're buying there, just something in that range. Yeah, that's what I was saying today. Uh, you folks will routinely send out press releases when a wire shuts down one of those trains, right? Mm -hmm. And little stuff. Well, you know, if it's a service impact, we send the information out. All right, one one of them, a three million dollar train, three four million dollar train crashed into a barricade three weeks ago, and Trina didn't say a word about it. Why is that? Well, good question, Lars. Here's, here's the, the reason. Um, one, it was a minor service disruption at the time. Um, two people were on the vehicle. There were no injuries. And, you know, also, if we released the video back then, um, it was part of uh, an incomplete investigation, if you will. So, you know, we wouldn't be able to describe how did it happen. Was it mechanical? Was it something wrong with the brakes? You know, all those sorts of things. So. You know, it was a minor incident, a uh, minor service disruption, if you will. And so we tend not to send those sorts of announcements out to the media. So the media had been asking for the video mm -hmm. uh, over the past couple of weeks, and we had said, happy to release it, but we don't want to taint the investigation. We Ma want Mary, hold on. How do you taint an investigation by releasing a video in this kind of case? I understand other police matters, but where it might change the view of witness, witnesses, but simply releasing video of something that happened, how would that taint an investigation? Well, we want to make sure that it's, uh, that we maintain the integrity of the investigation. And we also want to protect the employee's right to a fair process. The you employee know, is invisible. There are ways in the, that is, people can identify. Let's say people were able to identify who the uh, operator was. You know, um, if there were... You know, if information got back to him, I mean, what Mary, we're trying to do you, is preserve. But the wouldn't you guess, Mary? But I'm, I'm, I don't want to run out of time. Wouldn't you guess that everybody at TriMet knows which driver was driving the train the day of the crash, probably the day after the crash, right? Well, I'm sure the appropriate people knew. Uh, uh, but don't you think every driver out there knew that it was Fred that crashed the train? Well, or whatever his name was. Thank you. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know what his name was. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know what his name is. I was thinking Fred you know, just that We want to provide factual information about the nature of an incident. And just releasing video without any information about it, I think, does an injustice to what is the cause of the incident. So well, let's give you the driver. We're going to probably have to disagree. You know, to, you know, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that one. Is the driver still on paid leave? Um, let me think. Uh, I'd have to double check on that one. You don't know. He might be back out driving. You know, it's still an ongoing investigation, and, you know, to, to, we're going to take all the appropriate steps well, that we need to. If I you haven't, have that detail right now. If you haven't finished the investigation, is it appropriate for you to be driving again? Um, I'm not uh, I'm not sure the status of his uh, employment right now. No, but is it appropriate for a guy or gal to be back out driving again if you haven't figured out whether he screwed up or the equipment went bad? You know, that's not my uh, place to say. So I would leave it to okay. the experts in our operations department and our safety department. You know, when you think about this sort of thing, uh, safety is of a paramount importance. You know, right. so it's, I would leave that to other people in the in the agency to make that determination. Why did Trimet put Al Margulies off on paid leave? We put him on leave because he released video of an active investigation. But, but hold on, he doesn't have any access to the video. Somebody sends him a piece of video, and he puts it on his website. How is that a violation of his agreement under, as an employee? Well, it's an active investigation, and, you know, he has the right to his free speech. No, but know? he didn't get the, the video by his connections at TriMet. He's a citizen. I could have been sent the video. Would you have laid me off if I posted it? Oh, Lars, we couldn't do without you. You sure you wouldn't let me off if you got the chance? <laughs> you know, Lars, it's, um, 
you know, it's an ongoing investigation. Right. The video was released. You know, it's in the process right now. I know, but, but this is a man who got a piece of video by email in his off-duty hours and put it on his personal website. Why should he be off the job? So again, it's it's. Uh, but he doesn't know. He, in fact, did he know it was an ongoing investigation, or did he just know somebody sent him a video of a train crash? You know, that's uh, that's going to be a discussion between him and his supervisor. No, no, no. But Mary, I'm, Mary, I'm not going to prejudge well, whether. No, I'm not asking you to prejudge, but did everybody at TriMet know there was an investigation going on of the train crash? I would assume well, that the right people know. Right, but, but you would assume that a part-time driver like Al Margulies would not have necessarily known about it, right? You know, I, I can't speculate on that. Well, no, but you're telling me that he knew it was an ongoing investigation. Was no, I'm saying the reason why he was put on administrative leave was because it was releasing agency information, which obviously he doesn't speak on behalf of the agency, and it's an active investigation. So is any time that bus... a conversation about what next steps are and things like that, and, you know. Well, but if... If an employee at TriMet receives something that they don't know is part of an investigation or not, and they have no way of knowing, how do they avoid getting suspended for, for doing something they don't know they're doing? Well, he's not suspended. He's on paid administrative leave. No, yeah. no. Didn't mind to jump Slightly there. different. Yeah, to you're yeah. right. It's totally different. You know, um, it's a matter of, you know, if, let's say it was me and somebody sent me and I wasn't the spokesperson and have the ability. You know, I would say, gosh, is this something, you know? that I should be uh, releasing, or is it active? Ask the question. I mean, you know, If he had asked, is there an investigation going on into this train crash, would you have told him? Um, I'm not sure who <laughs> he would have asked of the supervisor to know what the status is. I'm just saying, you know, that conversation is between he and his um, supervisor later today. How much is it going to cost to fix the train? Um, the train on the platform cost is around the twenty-five dollars to $50,000 range. Mm -hmm. Has it been fixed? Is it back in service? I don't believe that train is back in service. Three weeks out of service. That's got to be some cost there. Well, yeah. you know, we have trains that are on reserve and backup, so we're keeping the system moving. It's nice to have the money to have extra $3 million pieces of equipment. Mary, thanks for coming on today. Always a pleasure, Lars. Take care now. Mary, thanks for coming. You've got the Lars Larson Show.